Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a lovely sunny and safe day. Right, today guys, I'm gonna be repotting my fellow cactus by colour. What a name, which is this amazing and rather gorgeous cactus here. I've had this for absolutely years, probably about 25 years. And it's very slow growing. And I sort of pot it on every year, every couple of years. And it's time for a repot. The, the roots aren't coming through the bottom, but it does need a bit of a fresh change of soil and decided to put into a little bit of a pot, a little bit of a tiny size up. And before I go any further, I want to give a very special thank you to my wonderful fiance Hans, oh, <laughs> dog next door, um, who is filming me today. So I've got my hands free. So um, if you're not familiar with Hans, do go over and subscribe to his amazing YouTube channel, Family Cactus and Other Beauties. Links up above. And don't forget to subscribe to me too. <laughs> so this Stella Cactus Bike, as I say, I've had it for many, many years. It flowers every, more or less nearly every year for me, and it has the most gorgeous beautiful pink silky blooms they just like silk guys and if you want to see what this particular cactus looks like when it's in flower then do check out a video of this plant in flower links up above it is breathtaking and there's no signs of buds just yet but it's only april this usually comes into into bud usually in the next few weeks so I wanted to get this repotted settled into its new soil and pot before the buds form hopefully it will bud and just a little bit about its care this this fellow cactus by color we keep this at a minimum in the winter of five degrees celsius which is about 41 degrees fahrenheit it can take lower than that if you live in a climate that is low in humidity and quite arid here in ireland we're in northern ireland it's it's high humidity in the winter and we keep it in the polytunnel so because of that we don't let the temperature in the polytunnel drop below 41 f 5 c and if it does drop the heater kicks on so that's how we over, we overwinter it completely dry. We don't give this a scrap of water from sort of mid-fall, um, autumn, up until sort of now really. It's now April, but probably, I won't be watering this probably now until the May time. And once I've repotted it, I always keep cacti dry for about a week to 10 days before I water again anyway. I always like to repot, preferably if I, ha if I can in the spring and summer because that's just better when they're actively growing and if any roots get disturbed or damaged during the repotting it's easier for them to recover when they're in their growing period. So there we go. This cactus as well does love as much sun as you can possibly give it so a lovely sunny position all year round and I say keep totally dry in the winter and in the spring and the summer sort of from May onwards whenever you have your spring then once it's if, as long as it's in a very well draining cactus soil it can take quite a lot of watering as long as you wait until the soil totally dries out before you water again and that is the best advice i can give for, for caring for this particular cactus so plenty of sunshine well draining uh, cactus mix and um, also dry in the winter cool and dry and water in the summer as and when you need to when the soil has totally dried out if you if you're not quite sure about the soil it can be difficult when you you don't know what if it's dry at the top and it's damp at the bottom then you lift any up helps and also get one of the soil meters which we've got i'll show you when i do a next video dip it in and you'll often know if it's damp there wait till it's dried out before watering again that's that's my advice there and if you do them rules and fertilize it we like to fertilize our cacti from the spring up until the into sort of mid to, to late summer with a as well as a cactus and succulent fertilizer about once a month we also like to use a tomato fertilizer as well because it really helps to kick start the the cacti and give them a nice blooming because of the high potassium and if you want to know why we use tomato feed to feed our cacti and succulents then links up above to a video i've made on why i like to use tomato fertilizer to feed my cacti links up above there you go so that's a bit of care on this gorgeous plant and do check out what it looks like in flower too 
Now here we go, I've got the pot a little bit bigger. I always like to go a little bit bigger when I repot cacti. I don't like to go too big of a pot because excess soil is not good around the roots and again, it stays wet for longer. And yeah, I know I haven't got gloves, but I just prefer not to use gloves when I'm repotting. If this was a particularly spiny cactus, it looks spiny, I know, but it's really not. Look, I can go like that with my hands. If it was very spiny and sharp, I would obviously use probably cardboard or sheets of hard type of paper, a newspaper to turn it on its side to pot. And I have made a video on how to repot a cactus where I show a couple of examples in there are very sort of different cacti one a very spiny one and one a tallish one do check that out if you've never repotted a cactus before and uh, share some tips on there but as I say this one's easy enough so gently tip it on its side there squeezing it out squeezing around the pot again this, this is an easy one to repot anyway because the pot is soft to come out and it's not a sharp one as such there we go. Now, always a good time to when you repot, as I mentioned, whenever I repot, is to check the roots over. As you can see, it's got a great root system on it and no signs of mealybug or vine weevils. What I'm going to do is loosen up the soil a bit just to double check it's safe and also to loosen up the roots so it acclimatises to the new soil a little bit better. Now this is perlite, which I used to use in a lot of my mixes before with the sand and the loam and a bit of grit, so that's not bugs and, or anything like that. Uh, root mini bug has a fluffiness about it and it's always caked on the bottom when you take them out. This is just perlite as you can see there. So I'm gonna very gently, I like to very, 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 very carefully loosen the roots. This is pretty much loose anyway. If these roots are really compact, I'd have to probably loosen them up, but I don't need to, so I'm not gonna really disturb this at all that much. Um, the soil mix I'm putting it in isn't a lot different to what it was in anyway. We're using a very well draining cactus mix that was recommended to us by our wonderful friend Daz from Cacti Mania, which is uh, four parts of loam soil, in this case I'm using John Innes, with um, lava rock and pumice and a bit of grit and grit as well. And if you want to know the soil mix I'm using that Daz recommended, links up above to Daz from Cacti Mania's video, um, up above there. And do check out that video and subscribe to him also. It's a great soil mix. Been using it on a few of our plants and I'm very happy with it. So there we go there. So what I'm going to do with this one, and I'm going to very gently put it into, into the soil there. As I say, if you if you're don't like to handle sp uh, spiny plants, do use cardboard or newspaper as a tip. I think I've got, I'm often being asked why I don't wear gloves. Well, usually the pots, the plants are potted but don't have to. Gloves I find are absolutely hopeless with cacti anyway because the spines just go straight through them. And I think I really do have leather hands by now anyway. I've been potting plants for so many years since a child that it really, I really have got strong hands. There we go. All around there. And to carefully make sure that the soil has gone all around the edges there. And I used to like to use clay pots, but now I sort of prefer plastic because they're easier to to sort of get out when you do repot. But clay pots can be handy if you have plants that are very rot prone they allow the soil to dry out quicker. There we go. And what I'm going to do here is put this back onto the table. And I like to gently tap the pot just to make sure that the soil goes all underneath so this doesn't just stay, it goes all the way down like that. I can see it falling down like that. And then I like to gently then you press down again to make sure that the plant is secured. I wouldn't recommend doo -doo -doo like that pressing down because then you can damage the fragile roots there. And that's pretty much it. Easy peasy. And what I'm going to be doing now is I say keeping this dry for about 10 days before I start watering again. And I'm doing that because it is, it is our spring now, but if it, I was having to be repotting in winter, which I wouldn't do unless it was an emergency, I'd just keep it totally dry until the following spring. So there we go, and if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and circles, then please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And don't forget to click the, the, the subscription button and also the um, notification as well. A big thumbs up to Hansi for filming. <laughs>
So guys, I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus and sunshine power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. Thank you for reparting me, missus.